Hello. Welcome to this uh, uh, YouTube channel where we are providing mathematics to people that are writing the Examination Council of Zambia exams, grade 8 up to 12. And in this lesson, we are looking at probability. In the previous two lessons, I presented uh, lesson 1 of probability where we looked at um, uh, simple probabilities. In the second one, I looked at uh, compound events involving tree diagram. And now we are also still looking at um, uh, uh, compound events that are, are in fraction, where probabilities are given in fraction form. But then you can solve such a question using either a tree diagram or even without uh, a tree diagram, you must still be able to get the same answer. So I'm going to try to examine both ways and then whichever you're com more comfortable with, that is what you're going to go with. So please remain here. And make sure you subscribe to the channel so that all the videos that we upload, you are there to make sure that you watch them in order to prepare, exam, uh, to prepare yourself for the exams adequately. So let us look at this exam. Um, the probabilities of Juliet passing mathematics and biology examinations are 1 over 3 and 3 over 4 respectively. What is the probability of her passing, of her passing both subjects, of her passing both subjects? Now, if you remember in the first lesson of probability, I even gave a direct example where we are looking at, um, for instance, if we look at mathematics, let's look at mathematics, okay, let's look at mathematics. The probability of passing, the probability of passing, okay? The probability of passing is what? 1 over 3. What is the probability of failing mathematics? The probability of failing mathematics, you need to subtract this probability of passing from 1. Because we are saying these two events, that of failing and the other one of passing, when we add them, they should give us 1. So when you subtract this one from 1, you are going to get um, 2 over 3. So, the probability of one person passing, okay? Because these two events can't occur at the same place. You have either to pass or fail. It's the same paper, you can't do both, okay? If one occurs, the other one will not occur. Um, so, that is it for mathematics, okay? Then for biology, passing, the probability of passing is what? It's um, 3 over 4. Then the probability of failing, the probability of failing for biology is what? 1 over the same thing. I hope you are following. I've written down the probabilities that are involved here. Okay? Then, um, now we need to look at um, how do we go about solving these questions. So, I have said, uh, in an event where you do not need to... Okay, let me start with the... Allow me to get rid of this part. I'm sure I've gotten the, the information that we needed. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to start with the, if I do it in a form of a, where I use a tree diagram. I'm going to put it like this is for mathematics. This part is for mathematics. So the probability that this is mathematics, take note. So the probability that this person is going to pass mathematics and failing mathematics. The probability of passing mathematics is 1 over 3. And then the probability of passing mathematics, failing. Passing is 1 over 3. Failing is 2 over 3. Okay? This is Z for mathematics. Now, for biology, I want to bring for biology here. So, for biology, the second one is biology. So the probability that this person will pass biology is um what do we have 
3 over 4 for failing biology, take note, is 1 over 4. And the, this also has to come here. The same thing for biology, okay? The same thing for biology. We have 3 over 4 and 1 over. So biology failing, biology passing. The second ones are for biology. It's also possible if you want, you can start with biology, then mathematics comes second. Now, the first one is mathematics. The second one is what? It's biology. So what do we have here on the first one? Here we have um, mathematics and then we have biology. That is how I'm going to put my probabilities. Please take note. The first one is always mathematics, then the second one is biology. This is mathematics, then biology. So for the first one here, we are told that both of them, for the first one, this is where both, where she passed both subjects. Then the second one is where she's going to pass mathematics and fail biology. This is math, past mathematics. The first one is mathematics, the second one is in. Then this is in where she's going to fail mathematics and pass biology. Then this is where she's going to fail both subjects. Okay? That is in form of um, a tree diagram. I thought I should present it like this. Now, uh, take note. F, F, it means she failed both subjects. Pass, pass, it means she passed both subjects. F, P, it means she failed mathematics and passed what? Biology. P, F, P, F, it means she failed, she passed mathematics and failed biology. I've told you that the first one is for mathematics, the second one is for biology. So here it means she passed both. Here it means she passed mathematics and failed. These are the initials for our ruling party. Then um, we have uh, FP, which means she failed mathematics and passed that issue. So now we can answer the, the questions that follow. Like this. The chances of making a mistake, even when they have not requested you to use a tree diagram, if you are conversant with it, it's quite helpful because it reduces the uh, possibilities of you making mistakes. So now we say the probability of her passing both subjects. Okay, so we can we're going now to answer there. The probability of her passing both what subject. So meaning the probability of who passing both subjects, the probability of P and P which is 1 over 3 multiplied by 3 over 4. What do we get? If you want, we can simplify this to be 1 over 4, which is going to be 3 over 12, and it will still reduce to 1 over 4. So that is what we are going to get for the first one. Are we together? That is what we are going to get for the first one. So, um... Um, then, we come to the second question, failing mathematics, what the probability that she fails mathematics and pass biology, the probability of failing mathematics and pass biology, failing mathematics, the first one I said is mathematics, so it means she failed mathematics here as you can see, and then she passed what, biology, so the probability of what, F and e, P, the probability that she failed the first subject, which is mathematics, that is 2 over 3, and then that she passed the second one, which is e, 3 over 4. What do we get here? Here we are going to have 6 over 12, which is 1 over 12. Oh, 1 over 2, the second one. Are we together? Mm -hmm. Then, uh, the probability of whom, oh, I skipped this one. So, in the, the other part, I was answering this one. Eh? Then, the probability of failing one subject. 
I didn't deal with this, but the probability of failing one subject. The probability of failing one subject, and that subject has not been specified. So, where we have a fail, the probability that she failed one subject. And then it means she failed one and passed the other. The probability that she failed one subject. So, it is going to be the probability of that she passed one and failed, she passed mathematics and failed biology, or she failed mathematics and passed to biology. So that is the, what we are going to look at here. The probability that she failed one subject is the same as the probability that she passed one subject. Okay? So we are going to say here, we have 1 over 3 multiplied by 1 over 4 plus the probability that she failed the probability that she failed mathematics and passed and passed okay this is going to give us 1 over 12 plus 6 over 12 we get 7 over 12 for this one 7 over 12 is our answer 7 over 12 is our answer here 7 over 12 is our answer. Okay. Then find the probability that she passed at least one subject. The probability that she passed at least one subject. She passed at least the minimum. She passed one subject. So it could be that she passed mathematics and failed biology. Or she failed biology. I mean, or she failed mathematics. The probability that she could have failed mathematics and passed biology or she passed mathematics or failed biology or she passed both so the probability that we are looking at here we are looking at the probabilities where she passed one sub at least one subject so this one this one and that one these three do qualify at least one sub so it's one or more so these do qualify this one where she failed both no because we are saying at least he should have passed one so there are three ways, I mean, there are two ways in which we can solve this question. There are two ways in which we can solve this question. There are two ways in which we can solve this question. Okay? There are two ways in which we can solve this question. One is where we, we, one is where we, we add the probability of pass, pass, plus, the probability of passing this one, failing the other one, or the probability that she failed this one, then passed the other one. Where you add this one, this one, and this one. This is one way. The other one, since these, when we add these four probabilities, these, they should give us one. Now, since we do not want this one, we can also say one minus the probability of what? Failing and failing. What we are going to get here is the same answer as what we are going to get here. So you can confirm this one. I'm going to go with the, the, this one. So we have 1 minus FF. It is this one where we have um, you multiply 2 multiplied by 1. What do you get? You get 2. 3 multiplied by 4. You get 12. So you subtract now. You subtract 12, this is 12 minus uh, 2, this is 12 minus 2, what are you going to get? You get 10 minus 12, which is 5 minus 6, this is what is going to be your answer here, at least she passed one subject, at least she passed one subject, okay, so I have... Uh, I alluded to the fact that uh, um, at least it means one or greater. So we are looking at that passing one subject was composite. I mean, was a must in this case. Was a must in this case. So, so what if we have... Uh, are we able to see? Let me look at the. So, what if we have a case where 
we are looking at um, by the way after I've presented the this one I want you to do this question but I'll still be able to continue talking about what I want to talk about this question um, it's the same as should be able to do this question here this question that talks about probability a question B you see it involved the fractions and it gave uh, I'm sure it's the same as what I've talked about here okay this is the 20 20 okay so I'm continuing to so if we have uh, I'll go back to if we have if the probability that just an example if the probability that Juliet is going to be absent from school is 1 over 4. If the, the probability that Juliet is going to be absent from school, please pay attention to this question, is 1 over 4. What is the probability that she's going to be absent in the next two days? Okay? What is the probability that she's going to be absent in the next two days? So, if we are looking at it in that case, Please pay attention. I, I'm, I'm talking about if you want to use a, a tree diagram, for instance. The first one will be one for being uh, absent. Then for being present, it will be 3 over 4. And even for the second day, maintain these same fractions. You see, it will still be 1 over 4 for being absent. And then for being present, it will still be uh, 3 over. Then here it will still be 1 over. Uh, 4 and then here it will still be 3 over the fraction will still remain the same you've been given there's nothing like if you look at uh, those other things we were looking at we with uh, without replacement they were reducing so don't 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 do that in this case when you are given probabilities in fraction form you you you, you rewrite them the way they are okay you rewrite them the way they are so find the probabilities after you've done this now they'll ask you find the probability that she was absent for two days i mean she was absent for both days. Uh, on both days, you are going to have AA, meaning she was absent on both days. Or maybe she was absent on one of the days. So you are going to have this and this one. But my emphasis is only how do you present fractions on a tree diagram. I think that is my emphasis on this question. Okay? That is my emphasis on this question. So I, I want you to see how you can present whether a fraction is on two different individuals or it is on one person, but then... The events has to occur on two or three days. So you have to go on with that. Even if we are talking about three days, we are going to add another day here. But the same fractions. We maintain the same fractions. Okay? That is basically what we are talking about. That's basically what we are talking about. I've got other questions that uh, I can give you to, to do. Where is this question? Okay. Um, question uh, 11. A coin is biased so that the probability of a head, a, you, you get what that means. It's biased. Okay? It's biased so that uh, the probability of getting a head is 3 over 4. So it means it's no longer, it's biased. It's not fair like it's 50 50. So you need to go with that. So for the head, it will be that. For the tail, it will be 1 over 4. Then you have to repeat that process for like 3. 3 times because you're talking about uh, it being um, very. There is also question, question 18 here. And question 20, question 18 and question 20, okay? This book, if you have it, it has a lot of questions on probability, okay? It has a lot of questions on probability, okay? So you can do a lot of these things for now. Um, these are the questions that I thought I could give you on this part that deals with fractions and... Uh, Thank you very much for